Okay, so I am back to start coloring um, Miss Anya Stroll's outfit. And what I do normally is I have some colors in mind, either that I just know I want to use or from pattern paper. And I kind of play around and what I do is I'll put it on like a little strip of paper, not really super blended or anything, but just like that, just to show you guys, you know, where my thought process is at. <clears throat> so I'm going to start with grabbing my colorless blender. Hold on. Okay, so um, I'm just going to real quick try and lighten up these colors that got over onto her bow. And I find that um, the gentler, like I barely touch my colorless blender to the paper because um, if you press a little too much, it'll just end up making it bleed more by moistening the paper, kind of. So you just want to gently push it back in. I'm really terrible about staying in the lines. <laughs> okay. So that looks pretty good. Okay. Anything else will be covered up by color. So I am going to start with her bow. And the colors I'm going to use for her bow are B91, B93. I do have a mix of chows and sketch markers, just so you guys know. So 91, 93, and 95. So when I'm coloring clothes and such, I start with my lightest, my B91, and I just lay down some color. And this is just to, you know, get it saturated so that it blends nicely. But, you know, you don't want to oversaturate. And I don't know if I had mentioned in the beginning, I probably didn't. I used my Memento Tuxedo Black ink on Copic Expressa paper. Now I'm going to take my darkest, B95. Now everyone has a different method for this. Some do lightest, medium, dark, and then back down. Some just start with the darkest. Everyone's got a different way. So I, I lay down my lightest real quick to saturate, then I start with my darkest. So I'm just going to add in some shading where I want it to be darkest. Then I'm going to take my B93 and blend that out. And as I said before, I kind of just go right over top of the color. I just So I'm going right over my B95 that I put on. And I feel that it just you know blends it smoother for how I like to blend. Some people like a bigger contrast. Um, some people don't. You know, it's all how you like the color to look. Then I'm going to take my lightest, my B91, and blend that out. And certain colors, if you feel they're not blending enough, Go ahead and add a second layer like I did with the skin. Um, colors tend to blend even better the more you're saturating them and going over again. So with this one, I am going to do one more layer just because I don't like some of the blending. And I'm just going to do this really quickly. So my B95. Then my B93. And 
and then my B91. And I'm going to actually take the other lid off of my B91. If you notice that it seems really wet, it might be because you don't use it that often or it's very full. If you take both ends of the caps, both marker caps off, it'll prevent it from, if you've ever been coloring and you've gotten a big splotch of color, that's what that's from. So if you want, if you're sure that you have a lot of ink in it or that you haven't used it in a long time and it's probably very saturated or you just see that it's laying down a lot of saturation just take off both covers so that you know it's not going to put a big blob of color on so there's my bow and if you wanted you could you know even go in again with your darkest just to darken up a couple little areas but it's pretty uh, well blended so then I'm going to do her dress in the same color. I want her dress and her bow to match. Now, as I said, I had picked out my colors, but I haven't decided exactly what, I mean, I have an idea in mind of what I want where, but not exact. So I kind of go with what's looking good to me. So again, I'm going to take my B91 and I'm just going to lay it down on her little outfit here okay. and then my B95 just in the areas that I feel will be darkest And then my B93. And I'm just going to blend that out. And then my B91 again over the whole thing. And for those of you that don't like a big contrast or don't want to do a second layer, what you can do is you can take tip to tip, which a lot of you guys know. You take your B91, your lightest, and you brush it over the tip of your B93. Pick up some of that color and it just helps it blend a little more smoothly. So I guess I'm going to end up doing her dress like this, just to show you guys. Okay, and I'm just going to brush a little more B93 over this whole thing and then go in and lighten it with my B91 and 95 in my darker areas. Okay, so I'm going to take my 95 again. I'm just going to darken a couple areas over here. Go over with my 93. And then my 91. And I tend to just play a lot with colors and take away and add and blend and blend until it's just how I envisioned in my mind. Now I got a bunch of blue on that, but I want to let it dry a little bit before I 
use my colorless blender, it'll just bleed. So I'm going to let that dry a bit and see how it is when it dries. Then I'm going to do, I think I want to do her leggings in the kind of orangish color, which I'm going to be using YR21 as my lightest, YR12 as my middle, and YR14 as my darkest. So I'm going to take my YR21, let me move this up a bit, and I'm going to lay down color, and then I'm going to take my darkest, my YR14, and lay down my shadows, then my YR12. And what I love too about coloring like this, if, if a color combo isn't to your liking, stamp it again onto pattern paper and put the pattern paper over it and cover it up. You know what I mean? Get it to match better. So that was my lightest wire 21. Then I'm going to take my darkest again and just add in a little bit there. And it's a little bit too dark. I think next time I'll use my mid middle color to blend that out. Okay. So again, I'm going to use my lightest YR21 and saturate it. And then my YR15. I'm going to add a little bit to the back of her leg here. I'm not too concerned about going over the le the lines uh, around the outside of it because I am going to be fussy cutting this for the project I'm doing. I already know I am, so not too concerned. Now my YR12, I'm going to blend that out. And then my YR21 again. take the medium wire 12 and just add a little bit there. Okay, so now we have that done. I am going to do her... I don't know if I want to do the purple color for her jacket, if it'll be a little too much, or if I want to do her jacket and shoes black and her jewelry in the purple and the liner. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take my purples, which are my um, BV000, 00, 00, and 02, and I'm going to do some of her jewelry and the liner of her jacket, and I may or may not end up doing her shoes. I'll decide later. So I'm gonna take my BV000 zero, 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 and just do the liner here. And then I'm going to take my BV02 and just add in that. And then my 00. And this one here, such a small area, I'm not even going to blend out again. And then I'm going to just take my O2 again and just add a little more darkness right there. And then I think I'll do one of the bracelets over here. So I think I'll do this big bracelet here. I'll take my zero two. And I think she would look so cute with earrings. I might try and figure out a way to do little pearl earrings on her or something at the end. And then my that was my zero zero. Now back to my O2 and just add a little bit of that. Okay, and don't forget too is the doggy has an outfit too, so we have to think of that as well. Now is that a hat on the dog? Hold on. 
Oh no, that's a bow. Now see my boo-boo? I wasn't paying attention and I colored the doggie's bow the same color as her pants. And I missed a piece of her pants down here. So, first let me grab my middle color YR12 and just fill this in down here. Nothing too major there. For her bow, I might end up paper piecing it or something like that. I'll probably end up stamping it again, which I'll do all that on here when I have the stuff next to me. Um, so next we're going to do our poochie. And our poochie we're going to use E42, E43, E44, and E47. I know it doesn't focus because it's too close, but... Okay, so I am going to end up going back in for the center of the doggy's ears um, when I get my other colors ready, but for now, we'll just use these colors. So I'm going to take my E42 and do the little doggy's face, and I already know I don't have to worry about the bow because I already made a boo-boo on that. Then I'm going to take my darkest, my, oh, I forgot the rest of the doggy's body. She's got two front legs showing, her little bottom as well. Okay, now my E47, so right there at the tip of the ear, under the bow. Right about there. Okay, like that. Then I'm going to take my E... Oh, I keep doing that. Again with my E47. Okay, then I'm going to take my E44 and blend that. Just blend that out a bit. And with doggies, what's nice is you don't have to be perfect. They're supposed to be furry. So I kind of jiggle jaggle my Copic around a little because I don't want it super smooth. Then I'm going to take my E43 and blend that out. And I forgot the rest of her body. <laughs> oh, hold on. And then my E42 right there. And let me do the rest of her body in a second here. So go back with my E44 and blend out the little legs and body. And then my E43. Okay. And I'll go over it quickly with the E42 just to add some little highlights to the fur. And then what I'm also going to do is I'm going to take my E42 and I'm going to lightly, very lightly, put it in here where the ears are. And I'm going to be adding pink over that. I just think it makes it look a little more natural for a doggy. Okay, so for her little outfit to make it match but look cute, I think I'm going to use the... blues on her dress and actually you know what we're going to use the accent color the BV000 00 and 02 on her dress and then we'll use the blue on the little heart maybe I haven't decided yet see I kind of just wing it so here's my 000 adding color in now my 02 the ruffle and the bottom there. And then my zero zero. And my triple zero. Okay. And then for her heart, her heart actually needs to be red or pink. So I'll be right back. Um I'm going to get the colors for her jacket, her jewelry, her shoes, the heart, 
and uh, stamp out her bow to fix that. So I'll be right back.